Today I'm going to be making some pumpkin bread. We've made this recipe multiple times, but today I'm going to try turning it into gluten-free pumpkin bread. And I'm going to be quadrupling this recipe, but I'll give you all the recipe for one loaf. But yeah, I'm going to make it four loaves because we're going to have a loaf for ourselves and then three for our church family on Sunday. So yes, it's super simple. I have all my ingredients right here. But before I start making this, I have to go downstairs to grab something. So I will be right back. I'll just be a couple seconds. All right, I am back upstairs. How'd y'all like that? Oh, <laughs> I hope it turned out. It didn't feel like it worked, but it might have. <laughs> okay, let's get making this bread. So I'm gonna need a huge bowl for this. So. I have a ginormous bowl here, and it's awesome to quadruple recipes in. <laughs> All right, first thing is, you're gonna do your dry ingredients first. This is kind of just a dump it, stir it, bake it type of recipe. My favorite type of recipes is just put it in one bowl, stir it. I don't like the whole white, wet ingredient, dry ingredient, slowly combine. No, <laughs> I mean, I would do it, but I'd rather just dump, stir, bake, duh. All right, one and two thirds cups of all-purpose flour. You can use all-purpose flour. I'm using gluten-free flour. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm praying it works out good. So one and two thirds cups of all-purpose flour and one and a half cups of sugar. You can use any cup of sugar you want. I like to use coconut sugar. So I got that in there. And then now for all of your spices, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, three fourths teaspoon of salt. You can do salt. I really don't like to put salt in it. Usually what happens is it turns out too salty. I just never, when, it, when recipes call for just like a little bit of salt, I never really put it in. But you can if you want to. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves. So that's what I'm gonna add into all this. It's all in this little bowl. I pre-mixed all this. I'm so thankful I did this because I would still be measuring out my cinnamon if it wasn't. Oh yeah, this bowl is amazing. I forget, we got this bowl out of a Goodwill, which is a thrift store. And we've had this for a few years. You know what's funny is I hardly ever use it. You know what I like about it? It's not that deep, but it's wide. So there's a lot of stirring space, so super awesome. Okay, I'm not making this um, recipe too long because <laughs> I don't want it to be like my chapstick video where it was like 20 minutes long. So I'm gonna try to hurry up here. Next is you're gonna need two eggs. I have a lot more, but yeah, you need two eggs. One cup of canned pumpkin or fresh pumpkin or whatever you ha have on hand. I'm sure even some squash, canned squash would work too. Why am I even saying this? Okay, I say that as I pour in a bowl full of pumpkin. <laughs> no, I'm quadrupling this. I'm gonna scrape all the pumpkin. Don't waste any pumpkin, you guys. Wow, I said you guys. I feel Californian again. <laughs> Don't waste any pumpkin, y'all. You know, gotta scrape every last bit of pumpkin off the bowl. Next, you're gonna need a half a cup of oil. You can use any oil you like. I like to use coconut oil. I'm sorry, that was not oil. That was water. Oops, wrong ingredient. Okay, well you still need a half a cup of water, so half a cup of water and a half a cup of oil. This is coconut oil. So, do I have to melt this? Let me just stir this. A lot of pumpkin bread. So good. I think it's definitely one of my favorite fall desserts, but it's kind of more of a healthier type of version. So also like a breakfast. Hello! Oh my goodness, it's Miss Cuteness. Come here. Hi. Kitty break. Hi. Y'all, by the way, she's doing great, aren't she? She is such a sweetheart. I'm making pumpkin bread. Oh yeah, and she's a foodie. So whenever she smells food, she goes crazy. <laughs> Especially when you open a can of tuna. Oh boy. She 
she's like running around trying to find it. So cute, love that face so much. All right, I'm almost done stirring all this. Almost done. Pretend that never happened. And a lot of y'all probably assume I'm like so perfect in everything I do. Not true. Not true. Nope. Usually, I'm usually the one that is kind of makes a mess when I'm doing something. A lot of it probably doesn't show on camera, but it's true. Joy is a mess. A huge mess. All right, so I decided to melt my coconut oil. Hopefully that works. I mean, I've done that before in a glass bowl and it works, so we'll see. No, that is not a good idea. I just broke the bowl. <gasps> oh no, and it's leaking oil all over the place. You gotta be kidding me. This is this came in like the whole bowl set, you know? And now I have to grab all the oil before it uh this was not the right plan. No, do not cook glass over hot. What was I thinking anyway? I I, I thought I did before. No, that wasn't glass, that was something else. Isn't it not gonna break on me, right? You've got to be kidding me. No, do not cook like joy. What did I just say? Uh-uh. Oh, but there's no, no glass in here, right? No. It's just... Oh, no, 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 no. Do, do, dump, dump. Oh, this is a bad idea. Bad, 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 bad idea. Bad idea. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. Bowl goes in the trash. Bowl goes in the trash. First, you want to see it? Oh, it's broken. What did I do? See it all cracked in the bottom? What did I do? There's no glass in here. It didn't like crumble apart, you know? It just, now there's oil on the bottom of this. No, y'all do not cook with joy. See how I'm such a good example, right? I'm such a good example. <laughs> just until I cook. coconut oil which will probably turn out okay because all the other coconut oil is wet and I have to clean up all the oil that I jerked all over the place and that was the last ingredient best for last right the best for last ingredient was that and that is all the ingredients you could actually what is one more thing I have four loaves here and I am going this is grease your pan so it doesn't stick. And I have this shortening, it's just coconut oil and what else is it? Palm fruit oil and coconut oil, red palm oil. So it's just a mix of oils and it's like, a, it's like our replacement for butter and it looks like butter too and it's funny, it kind of tastes like butter but all it is is like red palm oil and coconut oil. So very funny, so I'm gonna be greasing our pans with this. It works so good and it tastes like butter too which is so funny. So I'm just gonna finish stirring all this up, kind of taste the, the batter here, and then I'm going to grease the pan and pour it. But I am gonna do something special to this pumpkin bread. You don't have to, but I am going to top one of them with chocolate chips. One, a couple of them, I'm gonna make this coconut cream glaze. Oh, it's so good. So I'm going to do that probably to a couple of them. And to one of them, I am going to put nuts on it as it bakes. So did y'all learn something today? <laughs> so now we know to not cook glass on the stove top. What was I thinking? I have no idea. I thought I did before, but it wasn't glass. It was a, uh, what bowl was it? All I know is it wasn't glass. And why would I do glass? That's actually the first time I overheated and broke glass like that. And I'm thankful they didn't break into a million pieces. Cause could you imagine <gasps> all down in the van like that? <gasps> and the oil too? Uh-uh, that would have been a mess. But 
I was able to rescue all my oil. Watch while I'm like gagging with glass piercings down our throat. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, no, it's not gonna happen. There was no glass in here. There's some chunks of coconut oil, but who cares? It will melt, I think. I hope it will. All right, should I taste this? I'm gonna taste it. Let's see how it tastes. Perfection. That is really a, so perfecto. And someone's screaming a deathly cry outside. No, it's on the inside. I'm feeling it. No, not yet. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This video's already all messed up anyway, so. Opening a door and walking in is no biggie. All right, let's now grease all of our pans. I'm just gonna use my hands, and it feels like a light butter too, so that's like amazing. Grease them pans, grease them pans. We actually have, actually, no. I'm gonna stop talking. I am going to stop talking. I'm not gonna bring up anything. I'm gonna X this all out. No talking, I'm not gonna talk. No one wants a 30 minute how to make pumpkin bread video. Jumps. Hello. What are you thinking, Squishy? You're such a good boy. Don't you learn. Don't snore too well. That's my Squishy down here. He's a lover. He's such a lover. Okay, one more pan and then I'll be finished. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Get a preheat your oven to... 350 for 65 to 70 minutes. Let's pour this. Oh, it's perfection. It's perfection. I do the honors. No one else is in here right now. Everyone else is outside. So, I do the honors of licking everything. And yes, I still lick the spoons. <laughs> they never change. From three to 15. Still like the spoons. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Whoa, was that a big chunk of coconut oil? Oh no. Pour out. Come on. Let's go. Get out of here. Out, out. <laughs> Making myself laugh. Let's just say I'm failing today. I'm failing. I am failing. No, actually, to be safe so I don't burn them, I don't need to mess them up anymore. I am just gonna put them in for like 50 minutes, just so I can see where they at, where they're at. I'm gonna put them in the oven, just to be safe. All right, so I'm gonna put. In what was that? Oh. Is someone over there, or did that just happen by itself? I'll be right back. All right, everyone is okay over there. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, now I'm gonna put them in the oven. I'm gonna go take them downstairs in the oven that we have down there. Now I'm just, the one downstairs, it just cooks a lot faster and it's just a lot nicer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one down there. I'm just gonna take down two at a time and then I'll come back up for the other two. came upstairs for the other two. The long stairs down there, it's probably about like 20 steps. Is that even long? I don't know, but I gotta go. Shake them back down. Okay, I am back. Now I'm gonna set the timer up here, and then that way I hear that I'll just run back downstairs and then I'll grab them out of the oven down there. So 15 minutes. All right, now we just gotta wait. I totally forgot to put the nuts on one of them as they bake, so I just pulled this one out of the oven really quick, and then now I'm just putting the nuts on top. Now for the glaze, I just have a can of coconut cream, 
You can also buy the cans of coconut milk and then put it in the fridge for a while and then the cream will separate from the milk and then you just scrape off the thick cream that's off the top. But the other day we found this at Walmart and then it's just the cream. There's like no milk. We did put it in the fridge anyway just to make sure. <laughs> but I'm really interested to see how this really is. It says it's all coconut cream, so we'll see. Oh yeah, it looks really good. See, it's thick cream. Like you pull it upside down, it shouldn't come out. That's how thick it should be. So I'm gonna, um, I just wing this whole entire recipe. Are you surprised? <laughs> no, there was really directions to this, and it's just super easy, so I just decided just to wing the whole entire thing. <gasps> no way. We got chipped. What? This is not all cream. I think this is something else. Coconut milk does not taste that good. Wow. I would just eat this. They weren't liars. We just didn't read the ingredients. And I usually do, but I didn't on this. It just said cream of coconut on here. And then I thought it was just the cream. But it turns out that there is some sugar in here and they added some salt. So it's already sweet. Like it tastes like really, really good. As you can see, it's not your typical coconut cream. They already added a whole bunch of stuff in this. So I think I'm just going to use this. I definitely do not have to add any more sweeteners or anything in this. We just we, we, we went, whoa. <laughs> we, went ahead. we went ahead and put another can of this into the fridge so we can get the cream off the top. Yeah, it tastes really good, but obviously it isn't the best. But I'm just going to use it since we bought it now, and it tastes really good. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay. them out of the oven and they all turned out amazing. I already put some glaze on this loaf but it kind of melted because it was still a little bit warm but I'm going to do a little taste test right now and I'm going to taste this one. These three are going to be for Sunday but this one's ours so I'm going to taste this one and then I'm going to put the glaze on this one this evening or tomorrow morning once it's like really really cooled down but I'm going to take a little corner out of this one and I'm gonna try it. It looks really good. Look at that. Through all the fails, it looks amazing. <laughs> all right, so here comes the true test of trying. That's really good. That is so good. Alright y'all, so I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe and this video. I know this video was so unprofessional with all the fails in it, but trust me, this bread is amazing. Y'all definitely have to try it, and it's pretty simple to make too, so it's so good. Alright, well thanks for watching, and I hope y'all have a very blessed day, and then I'll see y'all later. Alright, bye!